Ladies, I'm here to tell you the real truth about firming up those bat wings. To do that, we need very specific exercises that target the tricep. And it won't be anything that goes like this, or like this, or like this. To target and firm up the tricep, we need very specific exercises. I'm gonna show you how. Hi, I'm Kathy Rowan as the reigning 2019-2020 Ms. Senior Michigan America. It is my mission to help women everywhere feel better. And I know we're all going to feel better if we firm up those bat wings. I will be doing three tricep firming videos for you. The first one, we need no equipment. The second one, we can use weights. And on the third one, we'll be using a DynaBand. That way you'll have three videos all targeting the tricep so we can get at it from every angle. We'll start today with the tricep exercises that need no equipment. Now let me explain just a little bit about the tricep so you know what we're doing. The tricep is engaged whenever the elbow extends. That means whenever the arm goes in the direction of straightening. So whenever the arm goes in the direction of straightening and we add force, that is what works the tricep. Now our body weight is a lot of weight. So we can use our body weight instead of bands or weights today. But get a chair because we're gonna start off with some tricep dips. Now I suggest that you sit on your couch or maybe the stairs at your house. I'm using a chair just for the purposes of the video, but sit on something a little bit more stable if you can. Now we're gonna take these nice and slow for one full minute, remembering that we want to keep our elbows really close to our body. Here we go, and you're gonna see, you come off, slowly down, up, and up. So you can see what I was talking about, that you want to straighten your arm against some force. So when we're straightening our arm, the force is our body weight and gravity, of course. Let's keep it going. Slowly down and up. I know it's starting to kind of burn a little bit. You don't really have to go down that far. You can work your way up. One full minute. Another set. Remember, we're trying to get the elbows to go towards each other back there, so the elbows go straight back. Almost there, guys. That was one minute. Let's sit it back. Now, just like at the gym, we're going to do sets. So take your arm across your body and then as you lift it up this is a tricep stretch let's do a little stretch on the bicep and a tricep stretch ready for two second set we're gonna do three sets just like if you had a personal trainer here we go it's one nice and slow now if you ever feel unsteady of course you're gonna come back up and have a seat you can always come back in. Now, if these are starting to hurt your shoulders, I want you to stop and take a break. Another set. Remember, we're trying to get the elbows to go towards each other back there, so the elbows go straight back. Ooh, we're almost there, almost there. And. We're almost there. All right, let's take a break and stretch out the triceps. So we take the elbow behind us, like you're patting yourself on the back, and the other side. Elbow behind. Ready? We're ready for our third and last set of dips. Here we go. Now you're trying to keep your body, your torso really long, not collapsing. Elbows are gonna go straight back. And 
just think about what we're doing. We're pushing the arm straight against a force. That way we know we're getting the triceps for sure. Let your hips fall straight down. We don't want to curve under like that. Just straight down. We're almost there. Elbows are straight behind you. Don't let them wing out to the side. Now you can feel how that really does target the tricep. Almost there. Last one. Ooh, have a seat. We're gonna take that tricep, stretch it out behind us. Other side, it's like you're patting yourself on the back. Now, just like if you had a personal trainer, we are going to do another set of tricep exercises that get it from a different angle. Three sets, one minute each, coming up. The next exercise we're using to target the triceps is everybody's not so favorite, but it really works. So let's have a little practice here. You're going to take the elbows into your waist, just like this, instead of this. You guys, we're going down for some tricep push-ups. Now, if you don't like them on the floor, find a wall and just lean into that wall until you're ready to do them on the floor. If you're on the wall, a-okay. For the rest of us, let's come on down. Now, of course, we can be on our knees for this. Trying not to be back here. Get all the way into that diagonal. Okay, elbows are gonna go to the waist, and if you only wanna go down one inch, that's okay. We can work our way up. Here we go, it's down and lifting up. One whole minute, down and lifting up. Maybe you're just going an inch, that's okay. Or maybe you can go all the way down, that's okay too. We wanna keep the shoulders down, elbows always going into the waist. You can feel how this is just your triceps. We're not messing around with biceps or lats. We're just hanging on with the tricep. Now you wanna keep your head in line with your shoulders, so ears are always over the shoulders. It doesn't have to be a very big movement. Ooh, okay, let's sit back. We're gonna stretch out the tricep again, so take it behind you. Ready? Other side. You guys, I'm hanging in there with you. We're gonna do all three sets. Let's shake it out for a moment. We're just taking a little break like they do in HIT. Let's come on back out now. Make sure that the elbows come to the waist. Here we go, tummy is really tight and up for two. Now, if you feel like your shoulder blades are coming up near your ears, you wanna take it a little bit smaller. You know, you can always work your way up, but we wanna do it with correct form. Elbows into the waist, tummy is tight, so nothing is hanging. No tummy hanging down. That tummy is so nice and tight. Remember, ears over the shoulders. Let's take it back. Ooh, stretching out that tricep so elbow like you're patting yourself on the back and let it down. Wow, that's a lot of work. 
when you focus right on the muscle, the oh, one and only muscle we want to change for today, the tricep. We're ready to go for round three. Here we go. One whole minute, let's keep the tummy up, ears over the shoulders. It's down and up. So you see, we are not moving fast. We are so slow, so deliberate. We don't have to go down that far. Another set. Shoulder blades are really down in your back. Your tummy's up. I know, doesn't this seem like the longest one minute of your life? <laughs> Trying to keep the shoulder blades from squeezing together. We want your back to stay nice and flat. Coming up on 50 seconds, guys. We're almost there. And there we go. Let's take it back. Elbow comes back. We're stretching it out like you pat yourself on the back. We have one more exercise to go. So only three more minutes. This next one is an exercise that every ballerina knows because they are super invested in keeping that tricep area tight. This is called the swan leg and you'll see why. We're gonna push those wrist down. Now you have to pretend you're pushing against something really thick. Push it down. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four. I know you don't feel it yet, but you will. You can see why it's called the swan leg, right? You're just pushing out. So you're kind of making our own force but because your triceps are already so very fatigued, you're gonna feel this sooner than you would if we had started with this one first. Now straight up on that V, push. Ugh, I know, starting to get there. Straight to the sides. Okay, let's just wiggle that out for a moment. Take the arms in front of you, a little stretch all the way up on top. I know, my arms feel like jello already, but we still have two more sets. All right, ready for the swan leg? Here we go, push it down. Mm -hmm. Now you have to use your imagination like you're really pushing against something thick that you're pushing out of the way. Heel of the hand really pushes out. Now straight to the sides. You can just imagine yourself in your tutu, right? With these swan like arms up on that V. Now a super high V. Push it out. Straight to the top, push. And five. Here we go, 10 seconds to come down. High V. Now let's bring it down. Ooh, wiggle it out. Arms together, stretch them out. All the way up. Only one more set of swan legs. Ready? Yes, like you're pushing against something so heavy. Low V. Now your body is so pulled up tall. We're really just focusing on stretching the arms against a force which you have to use your imagination for like you're pushing against something so thick. High V. Now 
Here we go, back to the sides. Low V coming up. Let's just continue all the way to the end. And now we have straight down push. Ooh. Oh. Shoulder roll that out. Both arms in the front. Give it a stretch. Then on the top. Let's do one more tricep stretch. It's like you pat yourself on the back. Holding. And other side. Tricep stretch. You're holding your patting yourself on the back, holding your elbow, giving it a little pull, and open. I will be doing three tricep firming videos for you. The first one, we need no equipment. The second one, we can use weights, and on the third one, we'll be using a Dyna band. Now we don't do this again tomorrow, we wait and skip a day, and on our next tricep workout, we'll be using little free weights.